Now you guys always enjoy when I watch Smash Bros TikToks, but nobody else has made videos reacting to Smash Bros TikToks yet. It's almost like nobody wants to go through the pain of sorting through all the god awful ones to find the two good ones. So that's, that's what I'm doing again today. So last episode, you guys sent me your TikToks and they were actually pretty good. This time I'm going back to just searching Smash Bros in the search bar and experiencing pain. Did you know that in Super Smash Bros Ultimate, some characters' taunts can deal a small amount of damage? Luigi's down taunt, however, is capable of performing a spike on an enemy while ledge grabbing. Yes, I did know that. Next. Am I getting copyrighted for this? Yes. Is this what's called? I think it's called funk. Funk music. Aggressive funk. TikTok 1. Yeah, so this is just a clip of a uh, lifelight with Fonk over it, and it's got millions of views. Why do I bother making TikToks with effort in them? I don't know who that character was, but the the music was cool. What was the what was the transition on this? It's like here here he comes. Who's it gonna be? And then he just stands up. He's in the ring. He's like a thing of fire. And then it's just like, yep, that's the dude. Yeah, I'm gonna. Can you? Editor, put me in Smash with the same clip. I'm in Smash, motherfucker. Don't show this part where I'm bending over. You wanna play Smash? Yeah, sure. Oh, so you Smash Bros? Uh, no. <coughs> do you, do you, do you. <coughs> I just don't wanna have an episode with the Smash equals sex joke in it. I swear to my fucking god. Do you, do you, do you... Smash? Bros? No, you wanna play, we gotta go to it. Wait, it's a, it's a video game. What's going on? I don't... Was... It, the joke was so fucking bad and unclear that I can't even tell if it was a Smash equals sex joke properly. Fuck me. I'm like Gordon Ramsay. Fuck me. The joke's so bloody unclear, it's like the bloody Thames, isn't it? Fuck me. Younger me sneaking downstairs to play Smash Bros Brawl, but forgetting to turn down the volume. I remember this. I, I know where this is going. <laughs> it's pretty funny. That's relatable content. I like that one. It's pretty funny. That noise on the thing was unbelievable. You know what else is funny? The noises on the Wii. The characters, when you pick them, they would yell at you through the Wii remote. Do you guys remember that in Brawl? And like Captain Falcons was like, I wasn't kidding, right? Like that sh was loud. I, I need to use that voice clip for when people ask me something like that you don't really care about. It's like, uh, hey, do you want to have like a pizza for dinner? And you're like, <laughs> all right. The announcer with any other character. The, the announcer is a little bit, uh, he's a bit funky with his voice choices, isn't he? Let's have a look. Mario, Roy, Ice Climbers. Ganondorf. <laughs> That was some kind of, that was some good acting. This was a good one. He was just like, come on, man. Ganondorf. That was actually really funny. The facial expressions on this guy, mwah. Great acting. No words required. I'm gonna watch it again. Ice Climbers. Ganondorf. <laughs> you, you really did that well. I, I like that one. Th there's another one in um Smash Ultimate, the newer ones, because I think that's Melee, but he's like, Bowser Jr.? Like he's like he's asking a question, he's not quite sure if it's like a trivia question. What other ones are there? I can't remember. Sonic! Bayonetta! King K. Rool! Little Mac! Ganondorf! Mega Man! Violet! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was everyone's reaction when we actually saw the trailer when they were released. Violet. But then like the Steve one, he pops the hell off! Like he's pretty fucking happy about that one. Holy sh Okay, sorry, we got we got sidetracked. Anyway, next. You can't hit me. I'm a girl. Sometimes I wonder. Three, two, one, go! Hey, Stephanie! You'll tell me. One minute 48 of Family Guy fight with Smash Bros sound effect. 
Is Smash Boxing the next big esport? Ludwig recently hosted a chess boxing event with over 300,000 concurrent viewers. And the highlight to me wasn't the chess boxing, but the Smash Boxing. To be my commands at all times. Yeah, so shout out to Ludwig for including Smash in his big stuff. I watched a bit of this. Uh, let, let, let's see the rest of it. This is pretty interesting. Not only were there great gaming moments, Oh, oh. there's also back and forth fighting moments. Oh. <laughs> oh. And the dynamic between the two was amazing. You know what's funny here? The, with the smash boxing versus the chess boxing, just completely did not mention the first match, which was uh, Spud versus Toussaint, I think. Uh, so Spud's from New Zealand, but he actually lived in Perth where I lived for a while. So like he went to our tournaments for a while. So I played him once or twice and like, I don't like know him as a friend, but you know, I, I was definitely going for him knowing that I played against him before. And he got fucked up. Like he won the first game of Smash. And then in the first boxing, the referee was just like, nah, you lose, you're gonna die. So shout out to Spud. Good on you for being there, repping Australia and New Zealand. But man, that was not fair. That sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Although I don't, I don't even think I would do that if they invited me, maybe. I don't really like the idea of getting concussion. Seriously, concussions are no, no joke. Next up, we've got one from our boy, Mr. Pop at one. His third TikTok ever popped off. We got like 100K views and his first only had like 1K. So pop at the content machine. Let's see, let's see why he's popping off. MKLeo, who is the best Smash Bros player in the world, apparently just made a huge comeback and I want to check it out. Okay, so MKLeo's teammate's dead. He's, he's got that reaction content. That's where you get the big bucks. Trust me, Jordan. I know. Because I'm reacting to you reacting to this clip. Ooh. Yeah, the cycle continues. You want to react to this one? Uh, we'll, we'll see. Dead, and it's four stocks to one against Steve and Kazia, by the way, as well. Which is the two most broken DLC characters they've added to the game. Okay, he kind of killed himself. Oh my god. 40% already. Okay. How is he fighting both at the same time? Reach the jump! Oh my god, dodge that grab! Then grabs him! Oh, that was so sick! Okay. No, he got saved by the Mica! And then got the kill off it! Oh my god! This is really funny because like he's doing insane to take four stocks off in like in the 2v1. That's crazy. But it's basically impossible unless people really f up and you saw that the Kazuya SD and the Steve saved MK Leo. So like MK is playing out of his god Ooh. mind on top of these guys absolutely choking. To make people choke like that, you gotta put on a lot of pressure, so it's, it's kind of huge. The TNT set up on the ledge, the anvil, the up smash, everything! He avoids it all! He's looking for the one hit of four there, it sets up for the kill. There it is! There it is! Oh my god! Dude, his teammate doesn't even know how he does it. He doesn't even know how he does it. He's too good. I've definitely been there before. I've been carried in tournaments many times. You know when I quit Smash Tournaments, my past record up to that point was like three firsts in a row because I, I entered a triples tournament with two of the best players and did a squad strike tournament with the same two people who carried me all the way. And I can't remember what the other one was. It was some other crap like, uh, you have to be this bad to play and I was just good enough. So I kind of quit on a high note. So guys, it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. Because. I mean, NK Leo's teammate there, he got the win. He can put that on the resume. Nobody needs to know that he got mega carried. Top 10 hottest Smash Bros characters. Here is my list of the top 10 hottest Smash Bros characters. I'm gonna put Pyra and Mithra at number 10. Obviously they're both hot, like a wooga, the honka honka, mommy milk, but there's still two of them, so that's kind of cheating. I thought this was not gonna be serious for some reason. For some reason I was under the impression that this was gonna be a joke. Number nine is Corrin. I fucking hate Corrin's design. I think her clothes are stupid, but at the end of the day, she's still a hot anime gal. Number eight is Min Min. I think she's cute. I like her noodle arms. Also, God damn. Look at those calves. Seven is Rosalina. Shut the fuck. This isn't a joke at all. I'm impressed by how serious this is. I'm just gonna skip forward to number one because I don't really want to hear someone thirsting over anime girls for, how long is this? A minute and a half? If I wanted to do that, I'd just go online on any site ever. The anime profile pictures are taking over. Help. Number two is Wii Fit Trainer. Either you agree or shut up. What? What? You got a problem with that? I don't have to explain myself to you. F you. I just like her, okay? <laughs> You gotta respect a man who knows what he likes. You don't have to agree, but you do have to respect it. I don't even know why you're still watching for number one. You obviously knew going into it that it was just
I appreciate an unexpected finish. I do appreciate it. I've complained about in the past that what I don't like about the TikToks is that they never have a punchline, they never have a payoff. You know what? After a minute and a half of anime girls, it's nice to get an anime boy. It's sick, back, rock, oh, oh, oh. That was all the ones I had planned for today, but I feel like the video is really short, so I feel like I should probably find another one, but they all don't look very good. What the f- That wasn't the one I clicked on, was it? I'm clicking on this one that's a weird anime pedo one, and I click on it, and it goes to this one. I think it might be a blessing in disguise. This is TikTok God telling me not to look at this cursed sh Don't f***ing watch the pedo sh hop cat. Don't you f***ing watch it. It's telling me, yeah, don't click on that one. It does look f bad. We'll give it one more, one more shot. What would you do if you saw me at the red light and I honked my horn at you and we made eye contact and I said to you, What's up, baby girl? What would you say? <laughs> I, I was expecting it to become Smash Bros because I searched Smash Bros. So the TikToks that would come up, you would think it gonna be about Smash Bros. No, 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 no. If you if you think this one is funny, you are 12. I don't care what you say. If you think loud noises and people saying I'm gonna say the N-word is funny, just hop back on Fortnite, have fun, enjoy your childhood. So I'm looking at TikToks, maybe go outside, jump on a trampoline for a bit, you know, in, in experience the joy of childhood. That's what you should do if you think this is funny. Let's make it a positive message. How Hungry Box became the greatest Smash player of all time. Let me guess, he played the game a lot. You know what caused me to finally get rank one? No. In 2017, I told Team Liquid, please send me to as many events as you possibly can. I don't want to be at home. Wow, I'm a genius. World's best coach right here. Go to all the events, play a lot. Dedicate your entire life to something that nobody else has the time or effort or willpower to commit their entire life to. Smart. There's probably actually another point that he's gonna say straight after this, but uh, it'll probably ruin my joke, so I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> anyway, that was Smash TikToks. They're not getting any better. Maybe I'll do another viewer submitted one next time. Just, just thought I'd share some with you guys. Make it a bit more entertaining than you guys having to go through it. Peace. Like the video. Bye.